Sheep, welcome back to Project Anonymous. In today's video, we're going to dive into the world of puff embroidery. So stick around to see how we do it. So Megan, what is puff embroidery? Puff embroidery is a 3D embroidery where you put foam over fabric and then you put a satin stitch over it. This is often used in hats and stuff. To kind of create more dimension. Mm -hmm. So in today's project, we're going to use a two millimeter puff embroidery foam. And this is just going to be on a scrap piece of material because we don't really have a hat to work on right now, but it's all about the learning process. So we're going to use a piece of scrap material and see if we can get some lessons learned out of this for you. So we're just going to open up Ink Stitch's lettering GUI. So we're just going to pick the font we want. That looks good. What do you think? Yeah, let's make it a little bit bigger. Params. Now what we found here is when using puff embroidery, if you don't want the, the little foam parts to kind of come between these sewed areas here, you can increase the density of this stitch. And you can do that by closing this closer to zero. So we'll do a point two millimeters gap and that will decrease the spacing between each stitch or increase the number of stitches overall which will leave you with less parts that kind of poke out so we found 0.2 is pretty good apply and quit and now we will export as a PES file So we have went ahead and hooped our scrap fabric. This is where you can hoop like if you're doing a hat or anything like that. Um, and setting it up is actually super easy and simple. All you have to do is lay a piece of foam without any glue, basting, or anything like that. All you have to do is hold it down while the first few stitches stitch. It's not like applique where you have to like really let it stitch down and then do like a satin stitch over it. You just, just stitch over it. Yep. So pretty easy. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the embroidery machine. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so we have it in the sewing machine. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that our puff foam is large enough for our design. So I'm just gonna do a quick sweep over to make sure it's gonna cover the whole thing. Okay, that looks good. And now, put the foot down and start it. And I'm just gonna lightly hold it down on the corner here so that it doesn't move when it gets the first few stitches down. And then it, it should be locked down. So this looks pretty good, but it took a lot of trial and error to get here. We did a couple of test pieces that we ran before doing this project to kind of get our settings right and to see how is this going to turn out. And we learned a few things along the way. The first thing we learned is to try to use as similar as possible thread color with your puff embroidery foam in order to kind of hide the fact that there's foam underneath it. The second thing we learned is to change the density of your stitching so you didn't get that perforated edge and it'll come off a little bit nicer when you peel off the foam. The last thing we learned is to run a lighter over it very lightly at the end of the embroidery and after ripping it off the excess foam and it kind of melts the underlying foam a little bit so that it you don't see so much of that perforated foam come through. 
But be sure you don't like burn your project. <laughs> yes, that would be bad. Mm -hmm. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications to so give my every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.